All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and I hope global players, JP players, everyone is ready, because it seems as though starting with LRUI Goku, it is just going to be non-stop, I think, on both versions, like, probably until the end of the uh, whatever big download celebration we have in August and September, right? I think October is the next time we might see a little bit of slowness on either version. Um, because JP, for some reason, this Kefla celebration is like one of the better celebrations I can ever remember on JP, right? It seems insane. And then we're going to move into Tanabata. Global is about to go into their anniversary, which is going to be crazy. You know, I've talked with the homie Goresh, and we think that like Extreme Super Battle Road could be bumped up and released during the anniversary for Global, which would dramatically increase things. Like, it, it just seems very interesting. Um... So what we have here is that Beerus' Dokkan event. We now have sort of a timetable for him. This is not surprising. It was completely expected that Beerus um, would be releasing uh, in June, right? Because it was one of those things where it's like there is one like sort of big empty spot for global, right? Like there's like a peer like a, there's going to be a period where they aren't going to have anything to release and end up being LRUI Goku as a global first, right? Well, Beerus will be basically the big unit for June. Um you know, the end of June might be a bit slower for global, but it's sort of like the pre-anniversary hype and then it you know explodes, right? Blue Gogeta and Vegeta will be coming in um July for global. Um so the homie Grush here mentions that banners go away on the 7th, so around that time is when we can expect Beerus. That does make sense to me. Um, so we can go ahead and jump in, right? So the Beerus celebration for Global, I would imagine, is going to be pretty much exactly the same um, as it was on JP. Uh, maybe minus, like, one small detail. So there's the new Beerus Dokkan event. Uh, the Battle of Gods uh, gets revamped. The story event gets revamped. Um, you know, I believe it's just a bunch of new stones and stuff like that, which is good. Um... A lot easier to get the medals. Um, and then, of course, this Goku awakens from here. We'll, we'll go over him in a second, because that Goku is actually interesting for a couple reasons. Um, of course, we get SCR Whis, uh, one of the best units in the game, um, one of the best defensive units in the game. You know, he's basically LRUI Goku, but not as good. S sort of. S kinda. It, his defense can be exponentially better than UI Goku, though. Um, then, of course, this SR free-to-play unit awakens into SSR God Goku and then further gets an awakening into TUR uh, Super Saiyan Goku. This Goku is good because he's on the Realm of Gods category. And then this Super Saiyan God Goku is on the Super Saiyan category. So both of them actually have some value there. Um, Blue Vegeta will probably be getting his EZA during this celebration still on Global. I think that makes sense. Um, and then the 50% supports for Tech probably will be getting their awakenings here. Um, on Global as well, I think they probably will release uh, with this celebration, right? Because it makes sense, you know, they sort of released Kabe and uh, Hit very quickly, right? Uh, those SCR units, they kind of like rushed them out really fast. Um, and then here, uh, now the, the, uh, the spot is open up for them to do the tech units. Uh, now this, I Global probably will have a world tournament. Um, the reward card could either be Tech Mecha Frieza or it could be a Global First. Um, and then I don't, Demon King Piccolo and stuff like that, like, is not going to be, he's not coming anytime soon. I think he's still several months away for gold. I think, right? It, it would depend on when, hold on. When did LR Yamcha come out on global? Let me double check that. Um, and we could sort of check. Cause I want to see Tian and Chaozu and then let's see with Yamcha. All right. So Yamcha first came out on global. Oh, a full year ago. Oh, actually, you know, maybe... Yeah, Demon King Piccolo might be the next World Tournament, actually. Yeah. I, I, I actually think Demon King Piccolo probably will be in the next World Tournament for Global. Okay, so that'll be good. That'll be good, definitely. Um, okay, so... Beerus, right? Um, I, Beerus is very, very good. Um, I could say it like this. I think at Beerus' best, he's better than Cooler. I think so. Um, but the difference between Cooler and Beerus is that, I mean, I think Cooler has likely a better team. I mean, well, I mean, with LRUI Goku added to Realm of Gods, it's hard to say. Ah, it's Both of them have great teams, right? We, uh, let me just call it a tie for teams, right? Um, now, Beerus does stack attack, I mean, which is basically the same thing Cooler does when transformed. Cooler lowers attack on Super Attack in his base form, though, which is more relevant for Super Battle Road. Um, but the thing about Beerus and Cooler, right, is that Cooler can contribute in many different ways, right? He's a support type unit before he transforms. You know, he does guarantee crits against pure and hybrid Saiyans. You know, there's just a lot of different, like, aspects to his card. And, like, you know, you could put Cooler on a random team 
uh, and he's going to be able to help. You know, as long as it's like transformation boost category characters, which, you know, they're spread out across every category in the game, and it is one of the strongest categories in the game, and many of the strongest characters in the game have transformation boosts, right? So, like, Cooler is pretty much, like, always good. Whereas Beerus... Like, the difference between pairing him with, like, STR Weiss and then, like, you know, running him in, like, Battlefield or something like that. Like, Beerus doesn't have anyone who can bring out his full power, like, pretty much on Super Physical. So, for, like, Extreme Super Battle Road, um, you know, for Dokkan Battlefield, you know, this Beerus, it's like, he, he's okay. It's, if you're going to use this guy, like, you need to make sure you're doing what you can to make him really, really good. Um, that's sort of the thing with this Beerus, right? And that's why I probably would say Cooler is better. Um, even though I think, again, Beerus at his best, um, I do think is better than Cooler. So, um, let me know what you guys think about that. The one thing about Super Battle Road, though, is you are going to be able to use this active skill here, right? Which is very good. Gives you the extra attack and defense, effective against all types. Um, attacks can't be dodged. Like, it's just a lot of strong effects. But, and it is starting from the fourth turn. But, uh, we'll see. Um, I think this guy's very good. I do not think I would recommend summoning under any circumstances for this Beerus, though. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be seduced um, by the fact that Cooler is going to be on the banner. Um, kind of like the last gasp effort um, to get global players to spend your stones. But, I mean, you either should have summoned for UI Goku, who's super hype, global first. Or you should go for the LR Blue Fusions. This Beerus banner, like, don't do it. Like, please don't. I know Cooler is great. But, like, if you really want Cooler, get him with Red Stones, man. Um, although, if we're talking about Cooler against, like, a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR, keep in mind that Cooler is probably going to be far more frequent on banners moving forward um, than we're going to see from, like, you know, Asia LR Gohan or, like, the Super Saiyan 4s, the Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs, right? So, usually using your red coins for them probably is ideal, but I think co getting Cooler with red coins is, is very smart. Um... Don't summon on this banner yet, because, like, Blue Cow can Goku transforming Vegeta, Tech Beers. Tech Beers is great, but, like, he's been around for a long time. Yeah, I I, I would definitely say skip. Um, definitely skip. Um, then we got Whis here. Um, he lowers attack, seals. Um, you know, he gets 100% defense at the start of turn. He's got a 70% chance to dodge. And then every time he dodges, he gets another 50% defense. So he's just so crazy. And then with a Beerus, he gives the 50% attack buff and recovers 10% HP. So like Beerus and Whis together recover 20% HP per turn. Because they're going to share the Connoisseur link. So at the start of turn, each of them will activate that and heal 10% HP. And then they heal 10% HP at the end of the turn. So it's just... Like, that's why, like, again, Physical Beerus at his best is better than Cooler. Because Physical Beerus at his best is paired with this guy. And it's ridiculous, right? And, like, you know, it, th these units are just so nuts together. Um, this Whis is a absolutely ridiculously powerful unit. Um, that's why I, you know, like, I've been going crazy about this guy ever since he first came out. And then they dropped the LR version of him in UI Goku, right? Which is super, super big. Um, then we also have this God Goku right here. Now, this is just the non-fully awakened version, right? Because he does awaken one more time into Super Saiyan Goku. But the reason this guy is relevant is because he is the only Super Saiyan God Goku on the Super Saiyan category team, which could be a fact. That, like, somehow that could be helpful. Y you know, you never know. Um, I actually probably will rainbow this guy just because of that. You know, he's the only God Goku on the Super Saiyan category team, which is cool. Um, so this is good. And, you know, he does heal, which is nice. He's got okay attack and defense not well i mean because the stats are going to be low yeah his stats are very low uh so that might hurt a little bit um and then there's this goku right here so he is not the only super saiyan goku on realm of gods because remember transforming goku is on there as well but this guy is, is is pretty decent right especially if you're going up against a realm of gods category enemy this guy will be able to help like he, he's a solid free-to-play unit right um, this Vegeta, of course, gets his awakening really good for Realm of Gods category allies, um, you know, giving them that extra defense, you know, units like UI Goku, um, you know, LR Blue Gogeta, LR Blue Vegito. So they did a good job with making this Vegeta relevant. This Vegeta does piss me off right now, though, because he should be in rapid growth and he was not added to it, despite the fact that, like, this is one of the, the, like, like, Goresh told me, like, cause I, I did a video talking about how bad the rapid growth category is. And, like, one of the main characters that was left off was this guy, right? He's, he improves so fast. And apparently, Goresh said that in the scene where, like, Vegeta, you know, does this, beats his ass, and in the start of the next episode, Rose actually uses the exact word, 
that the category is named after in Japanese. He says that to Vegeta. Like, it's it's just so asinine that this guy's not on there. Because this is one of the units in the game that has the most categories, right? Like, look, look at all the teams he's on. You know, that's one of the really good things about some of these units is you could use them in so many different places. Um, but this guy's really good, right? I don't think he, he's not as good as like AGL Rose or like physical Vegito blue or anything like that. They're easy ace, but this guy's very solid. Very, very solid. Um, then of course we have the TN and uh, cell. Now people aren't going to want to hear me say this, but I, I actually find TN and cell to be two of the worst 50% supports. Now, obviously TN in truth, his impact is probably bigger than, nearly all the other 50% supports because of what he does for LR, Goku, and Frieza, right? He activates their full passive by lowering attack, um, and he gives them, you know, a 50% attack and defensive buff, which is so good. They need that. He also creates tech key spheres, which can help them, and then he now himself can be pretty good defensively if you get a bunch of orbs for him. So, like, him alone, what he does with LR, Goku, and Frieza is insane, right? But the difference between the 50% supports is their super attack effects, their links, and their categories. Number one, Tien's not on a ton of categories, but he is a really good unit on, you know, well, really, all four of these. Actually, man, yeah, considering how good he is on all four of these category teams, um, which is, like, again, this, this, this is, this is very, very big right here. Um, <laughs> Because, like, last resort, he's going to get blue Vegito, right? Earthlings is so weak, so so that is good. But this lowers defense he does right here is pointless, right? Like, like Rildo seals, greatly raises attack, and greatly raises defense. You know, that's something that's obviously going to be a lot better um, than low, greatly low. Well, greatly lowering attack is good, but lo greatly lowering defense is ass, basically. Um, and then, of course, we got Cell as well, who does the same thing. You know, Cell's on a lot of teams. He helps out a lot of strong uh, extreme tech types, right? Like, on target Goku, he's going to be able to impact LR Tech Broly, which is huge. Um, so these units are pretty good. Um, and then the final thing to... Oh, oh, this was nothing related to it. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> so Beerus is coming to Global next. Um, not surprising. I imagine that this is going to be the last big uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive or LR um, that we're going to see uh, before the five-year anniversary on Global. So this is the last, you know, decision. Should you summon for this guy? The answer is no. Just get cool with red coins and then move on. Um, but Beerus is very good. So thanks guys for watching, um, and I'll catch you all next time.